What is going on guys? My name is Tim Roswick and today we've got something special because we're talking about time management, but more specifically, we're going to talk about prioritization. Um, so like I said, I've been doing streams for a while. We have a discord chat, which by the way, if you're not part of it, you should join, uh, links down in the description. Um, uh, we've, we have a lot of different ways for me to interact with you guys. You guys interact with me and you guys interact with each other. Um, and one of the questions that keeps coming up in Discord, in email, in Twitter, and in live streams, and all kinds of stuff is, Tim, how do you balance uh, doing all the things that you do uh, while you're, you know, doing all this stuff? Like, how do you how do you manage your time? What do you what do you do? Uh, first of all, I would say, you know, <laughs> I'm not a magician at this. I'm not uh, a time manager. I just I know the things that are important to me, and I get those things done. Uh, but I realized that in how simple that answer is to me that a lot of people still struggle with this. So one of the topics that I wanted to cover today was prioritization. Um, so what a lot of people do and myself included, I used to do this a lot is, uh, when I have a series of things to do, um, after I say, fuck it. And I take a nap, uh, because I don't want to do any of it and I procrastinate the hell out of it. Uh, after I do that, um, and I get down to the wire and I say, okay, I have to get some things done. I would prioritize things. And obviously the question there is how do you prioritize things? How, how do you determine what comes first and what comes last? Um, and what I used to do was I would put things in order from urgent to important, right? Like urgent, important, not important not urgent, right? So like, um, the things that were due today or the things that were, you know, uh, they have a deadline or whatever it is, those, those would come first right away. And then the important things to me, like, like a video or getting a video out to you guys every day or, um, finish right. The live streams are important to me. Uh, getting client stuff done is important to me. You know, the, the kind of things that are important, then those would be listed below. But I realized something. I realized something uh, that really kind of changed the way that I looked at how I manage my time, how I get things done, and how I kind of how I kind of work on stuff. And that was the things that are urgent are not necessarily important, and sometimes they're important and urgent things. But a lot of times, the things that are urgent aren't important. So rather than prioritize the urgent things first. I prioritize the important things first now, um, despite any any weird deadlines or anything like that. If it's not important, right? That's that's key. I'm not gonna say like we have a client deadline and be like, oh well, you know, whatever. No, if if it's if it's important, then it's important and urgent. So then I'll jump on it right away. But a lot of, a lot of times I realize like the things that I would put on there is urgent, urgent, urgent are not necessarily important. Um, and so that I think that's a that's a key indicator right there because a lot of people they get caught up doing all these things that they think are urgent that have to be done. Um, you, you know, you see this a lot with like I don't know, like Black Friday sales, for example. People think, oh, there's a bunch of shit on sale. I got to get over there because it's it's really urgent and make make shit happen. Or um, you know, they they gotta they got to call somebody or make some kind of plans or set up something for their computer or software or whatever. Um, and those things just a lot of times they're not important They're We make time for them like they are because they're urgent, but they're not important. And I like have a pretty chill, relaxed life because I don't do things really that are not important to me. I don't, I don't, I, <laughs> I don't do a lot of things that I don't care about. Um, occasionally I'll do things like, uh, with my girlfriend or with people that I care about, even if I'm not necessarily interested in them, but generally I don't do things that I don't care about, which leaves me with a lot of time. You'd be surprised, uh, how much time you can get by just cutting out all the things that are urgent, but not necessarily important. So, prioritization uh, for me I think comes down to really figuring out what's important to you what's important in your life and uh, I made a video on not getting stuck in the fog I'll link that up 
But basically, the fog is fear, obligation, and guilt, right? And a lot of us are bred and taught to believe that we have these urgent things in our life uh, and that they need to be done. But in reality, the reason why we think that those things need to be done is because uh, they are urgent because of fear, because of obligation, or because of guilt. Um, and once once those things stop controlling you, once once you actually get control of yourself to where you can say, okay... I now have the choice and the freedom to work on exactly what I want to work on when I want to work on it. Uh, that's when you can kind of take control and only work on the important things. Now, a few things have to happen for that, right? Like you have to have your finances taken care of. You have to um, like really understand yourself in a way like you're not just going <laughs> to. I know some people that cannot handle their own business or their freelance kind of thing because they just they can't operate without structure right uh i thrive without structure i thrive in chaos which is kind of weird uh sometimes i like to sit in office buildings or internet cafes uh just because there's people walking around and everything's going on and it's like stimulus i just i seem to work better in those environments uh, as long as i got headphones <laughs> but um so you get like you gotta have your finance take care of you gotta have like um your you got to understand yourself. You got to you got to be able to have the the discipline to, to get shit done. But once you got that stuff taken care of, like you really have a choice. You have a freedom to choose what things are important to me. This is my time, whether it's after work or whatever it is, lunch break, whatever it is. This is my time. What things are really important to me? Um, I brought this up in the marketing consultation I did with uh, Leo, but uh, one of the um, I think it was the marketing consultation no it might have been i actually i think it was the uh the podcast i did i i do i got <laughs> i do so much shit now i gotta remember all that so memory is the next thing i gotta work on but um someone asked me they were like uh you know how do you what how do you choose which things to work on and i think that's relevant here so <coughs> excuse me one of the things that I said was um, I brought up Tim Ferriss. And Tim Ferriss has a fantastic uh, little saying, little quote kind of thing, which, by the way, if you don't follow Tim Ferriss, if, if you've never read any of his books, I highly recommend you do. They're, it's great stuff. He's like a body hacker. He hacks his way into uh, science and business and stuff. And um, that's kind of always how I've been uh, doing that. But one of the things that he says is, is he looks at all the different things that he has to do and he asks himself, which one of these things will make the rest of the to-do list obsolete or easier? Um, and I always thought that was fantastic, right? So, like, that's actual tasks, right? So once I got all my important things, what can I do first that will make the rest of the things that I have to do obsolete or easier? Um, and a lot of times, especially if, if the tasks are related to a single project, um, a lot of times implementing certain things that may not be fun up front can save you a lot of time can save you a lot of effort uh down the line in in the additional projects and stuff so uh it's really important to kind of look at that and again all this has to do with you understanding and really like uh understanding yourself and knowing what you're capable of and, and knowing which things are important to you if you're lost in life and you don't know what you want to do you don't know where you want to go you don't know whether when you want to go on web design or game development or art or programming or whatever you're gonna have a really hard time figuring out what is important to you. Um, and I think it's one of those things that kind of changes as you get older too, right? Like five years ago, I had no idea what was important to me. I ran a marketing company, uh, you know, taking on clients that I didn't like for money I didn't want. Um, so my, you know, my measurement of what was important was all over the place. But um, as I kind of grew older, and experienced a little bit more life and spent a lot of time reflecting, I kind of grew to know myself and say, okay, this is what I want. This is what um, is important to me. This is this is what makes me feel the most in tune with my soul, with my being, you know? And honestly, what I've what I've kind of discovered over the last couple of years, or not, not even years, I would say months, is that I really enjoy doing this stuff with you guys. I really enjoy the YouTube stuff. I really enjoy the live streaming. I really enjoy like game development, obviously, but um, game development publicly, like doing it with you guys. 
uh, helping guys with their projects, working on stuff, sharing my thoughts. I really, really, really enjoy this. Um, and this stuff is important to me. And everyone in my life knows that this stuff comes before everything. I don't care how urgent something is. I don't care what's going on. I, I don't, you know, like this, this stuff, me getting a video out a day, me, me making this happen is important to me. It's really important to me. And I make it happen because of that, because of the importance level. And it's always on the top of my to-do list because I don't rank by urgent. I rank by important. So I hope that little rant on <laughs> urgent versus important and, uh, time management and identifying yourself and, and what you want helps you out. If it did, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys as always. Uh, but once again, I'm Tim Ruswick and I'll see you tomorrow.